Here you are, Celine. The solar system as it was 4.6 billion years ago. I always wonder what things were like before we became, well, us. Before I was formed? I bet you were very lonely without me. Hello, the Earth. It's such a pleasure to see you. So you must be Theo, right? And you must be my future self. <laughs> Damn, I look sexy. Oh, so you must be Proto-Earth, right? I prefer to be called Hyperion, named after the Greek Titan who fathered the God of the Sun and the Goddess of the Moon. Seems fitting, don't you think? Definitely! So Hyperion, how was your world like back then? Well, I might have a mass 62% that of yours. That would make me less massive than the planet Venus. Some planets say that me and Theia are almost the same size. As for my environment, I have a magma ocean and a thick carbon dioxide rich atmosphere. Similar to Venus. I'm probably cloudy and hot, not airless. That's fascinating! Thea, how about you? What are you like? Some say that I am Mars size, about 10% the Earth's mass. But that is just one idea. Others suggest I could be bigger, maybe 40% the mass of the Earth. Some say that me and Hyperion are nearly the same size. For a long time, everybody thought I formed close to Hyperion, maybe sharing her orbit as a Trojan planet, but newer theories suggest I came from the outer solar system. I might be a carbon planet from the outer regions scattered inward by the movements of Jupiter and Saturn. There is also a chance that I had a giant impact with another planetary body before meeting Hyperion. Either way, my environment is probably similar to Hyperion's. A magma ocean and a dense, cloudy atmosphere mainly composed of carbon dioxide. Definitely not airless. Thank you for sharing your stories, Hyperion and Thea. Until next time, may the universe keep revealing its secrets. Goodbye, Goodbye the Earth, Earth and Celine. Celine.